What's up guys? Wanted to do another quick what looks good in the garden today type video. Start with the pond. It's looking phenomenal. To the yellow flag iris blooming. Got some uh, blue ones in there about to pop too. Water's nice and clear. Lily pads are coming out. It's looking good. First we got Picea Pungent Sunny Patrol here. This little Colorado blue spruce. Got last year from Conifer Kingdom. Um, should be like a dwarf, dwarf type blue spruce. Uh, maybe like four, four by three in 10 years. But it's got this awesome, like, like creamy yellow, almost white with like a hint of blue at this time, really depending on the sun. This one just looks really good. It, the color held until just about July last year for me. And then even the tips of the new growth still had a little bit of that creamy color in there. Just looks, I mean, it looks awesome, especially in the morning sun, evening sun. This one's phenomenal. Like I said, it really, really depends on the light that hits it. It's kind of the color of that new growth. It can be a whole bunch of different things. Right next to that, got Jerry Schwartz, Acer Palmatum. This one, still super red. Seen some of the other videos, putting out some bright red new growth. Will fade to green in the summer, but this one has stayed uh, real red for me so far this year. But man, again, right next to Sunny Patrol, you kind of look out the kitchen window, this just glows. It's been really, really pretty. Here's Acer Palmatum Hanamatoi. Pushing out some bright pink new growth. Made it through the late frost that we had. This gets a ton of sun here, so it's a lot of red with that pink variegation that we're accustomed to. Really excited for this one to fill out over the years, right above the waterfall that I've got going on. Big fan of these colors. Here we've got Acer Palmatum Summer Gold in some shade right now. You can still see how yellow that is. Let's probably get five or six hours of late morning, early afternoon sun and some dappled shade after that. Uh, but did really, really well for, for us last year. It comes out a bit more chartreuse green and you get that yellow color with a bit of, a little bit of red etching on that serrated, slightly serrated leaf. Another one that just glows no matter the sun conditions, but especially in shade like this, really just brightens up a spot.
Here we've got Acer Palmatum Strawberry Spring. It's a seedling of Amber Ghost. Similar color change pattern that you see there. This is like three different colors, maybe even more all on one plant right now. Still got a few leaves in there that I'm sure that's how it got its namesake. Look at that. Just glowing, glowing pink with the green etching in there, the reticulation, that looks awesome. You know, just pull it back, you see so many different colors though. And this thing is really, really looking good this spring. First year with it. Kind of also excited to see the summer green that this fades to, but man, this one's, this one's been really, really cool so far. I don't think any video I could do this spring would be complete without getting Acer. She was one of Autumn Moon on there. Definitely pushing the sun tolerance for this one. So far, so good. Dude, this is just like a highlighter salmon pink over kind of that little bit of a chartreuse bronzy yellow. I don't even think the camera does this one justice. Finally, we've got Acer Palmatum Usumidori. Really cool yellow color. This gets some morning sun and mostly dappled shade, especially now that the high canopy's filling in. Seems to have made it okay through our late frost. Yellow is awesome. Anticipate a bit more of the pale yellow that you see on some of those new leaves there. But again, first year with this, so we'll see. We'll see how it makes it through the year. Appreciate you guys watching this far. If you did like that, uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. We'll be back soon, so we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.